course, unfortunately, this virus has absolutely no emotions whatsoever. Um, it is changing and it's been necessary to change in response to this new variant, this new strain that's um, emerging. And um, uh, it's, uh, these are appropriate restrictions. The new strain is more transmissible. Um, if there's one piece of good news, it doesn't appear so far that it causes any worsening of the disease, which is important. Um, and as far as we know at this stage, uh, the vaccine should still work against it. All viruses mutate uh, constantly. Um, indeed, people mutate constantly, but, but we only reproduce every 25 years. The virus reproduces every few minutes. Um, and uh, it, it's, there have been new variants emerging throughout. So um, I don't think that there's anything we should be particularly more concerned about at the moment, but there is just a tendency. The, the viruses that do well are the ones that transmit most easily. it is possible there will have to be um, uh, restrictions for longer um, and a lot of course depends on how effectively people socially isolate as it were, socially distance um, because it, it will stop if people um, uh, keep, keep apart as much as possible. Um, social, social distancing will work, it's just that the measures need to be longer and somewhat more extensive with the virus. We don't know for 100% that it is more infectious. We do know that the spike protein has mutated, meaning made mistakes in reproduction, and therefore it looks like it is the predominant strain. And therefore the conjecture is that it may be more infectious. My view would be maybe, but the other important bit is we have had a lot of human to human interactions as well. People indoors, shopping, schools, colleges, universities, open, etc. So it is a double issue. One may be a variant that is more infectious. I accept that, maybe. And the other one is human behaviors as well, which have led to the rising number of cases. Um, we have known for some time that this is rapidly becoming the new predominant strain and then finally we saw a reaction today. Um, people like myself and many of my colleagues have been saying for a long time whether it is a new strain, a new more infectious strain, the evidence is case numbers are going up irrespective and therefore we need to take urgent action sooner rather than later. We are always catching up rather than being react, you know, acting as soon as we should have been acting. This new variant not only moves fast, it is increased in terms of its ability to transmit, but it is becoming the dominant variant. It is beating all the others in terms of transmission. So this virus transmits its growth. I think we can expect to see the same thing after the Christmas relaxation. It may be more infectious, but I don't think the severity of illness is any less than it was before.